Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out any of the new upcoming videos. Talking about today's video, so in today's video we are going to see how we can run DeepSeek R1 on our local machine. Local machine could be a Windows machine or it could be a virtual machine like Linux machine or even it could be a Mac OS. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to uh, run DeepSeek on these machines uh, for free. Okay. Yeah, before we get started, so make sure to check out this course. Uh, this is the latest batch that we are running. It has comprehensive content of 100 plus hours where everything is already included with real time projects and 100%. And best part is that the projects that we are going to implement to in this uh, course is that we are making sure that we are deploying the projects with persistent storage so that there is no data loss even if the application crashes. Plus, we are also integrating SSL certificates and we are also making sure that our application, whatever we deploy, it is available or accessible on a custom domain like xyz.com with SSL integrated. That means your application will be running on HTTPS URL instead of HTTP. So all those things are included, including IAC and even Azure DevOps we have included in this batch. So make sure to check out and immediately you get access to 100 plus hours of content and you can start learning. Okay. Now let's talk about how we can set up this. So first I'm going to show you an example of running DeepSeek on our uh, Linux machine. Okay. So first of all, what we have to do, you have to go on browser and search for Olama. So this is a tool that is going to help you run uh, LLM models. What is LLM? Large language models. Okay. So uh, using this, so first of all, what we have to do, we have to install uh, Olama on our uh, Linux machine. Okay. And this is the command you can uh, run to install it. Okay. Before that, also one more thing team, uh, uh, like since we are going to install it on our uh, uh, Linux machine, so what will be the size of Linux machine? So basically when I tried with this smaller Linux machine with just 4 GB of RAM, it did not work. That means we need to take much bigger machine. Okay. So I'm going to uh, create a, a virtual machine. Let's name it as DeepSeek. I'm going to take Ubuntu machine version 24.04 size. So now size I'm going to take this time. Previously I tried with a 4 GB memory, which it did not work. So now I'm going to try with T2 large. Okay and keep here we can select the one that we have on our local machine security group so just to show you that what uh, you know, what ports are open on my security group just to make sure that uh, you also know okay. okay sorry where is it security groups this is the security group that i'm using and these are the ports that i generally keep open okay coming back storage so storage for now i'm going with 25 and click on launch instance and now let us connect to this machine let me refresh the page and this is the VM. So I'll get the public IP address and I'll go to mobile X term. Okay. Let me create a new session. Meanwhile, just to let you know, I'm working on new project. It's the biggest project probably. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just trying multiple things. It's taking a little bit of time. Okay. It's smooth tracker. Okay. So yeah, I can put the public IP address here. Username will be Ubuntu and advanced as a such so private key location we can give which is on our local machine devops shack pem file okay and i'll just give the name also deep seek this is done click on ok and it's connected right first thing that we are supposed to do is sudo apt update okay and let's wait for this to complete meanwhile this is being done we can go here we can copy the command okay which is going to install olama on our machine so i'll copy the command and let's wait for this to complete okay taking a little bit of time okay completed now i can run the command that we just copied it's going to install olama on our uh, linux machine okay so meanwhile this is being done let me uh, walk you through the next step so i'll go back here and yeah this click on this deep seek r1 click on that right now here you can select specific models there are multiple models with different sizes okay so i'm just going to go with 7b once you select it you can copy this command where you can you can specify 7 with the model you want to run in this format okay so make sure to copy this and once this command is completed installation of olama on our virtual machine then we can run the command okay and let's wait for a few seconds i guess okay now i can run this command and let's see what happens now 
it's downloading that as I say uh, 7B model is 4.7 GB so yeah let's wait for this as well and see uh, uh, I'm still in testing uh, phase for DeepSeek uh, but still uh, since I have I'm testing it on my local machines so I wanted to show you like how you can set it up on your machines as well so that it could be really useful for you guys okay and in my opinion whatever I have done little bit of research with DeepSeek what I saw that it's yeah really good and there are many features that ChatGPT provides uh, in paid version but DeepSeek is giving for free so yeah, for those who are using ChatGPT and unable to uh, use the paid version, go with this one. Okay. And yeah, let's hope. Uh, let's see how much time does it take. Meanwhile, again, team, uh, if you are new on the channel, make sure to subscribe. We are uploading many things. And yeah, one video that I would highly recommend everyone to watch is this one. Uh, recently, I did a live session on this mega project where we have integrated everything. So make sure to check out. And these are my recent live that I have done. So make sure to check out if you are interested. Coming back to VM. Okay. Seems it's success. Okay. So now uh, it is installed and let's see what we can run. Okay. So I'll just write simple question. Explain me Kubernetes architecture in layman terms. Okay, just checking. And I have written the question and okay. So it's quite useful, you can see. Now we are able to run Kubernetes. Uh, sorry, we are able to run uh, this uh, AI tool very easily on our local machine like virtual machine this uh, Ubuntu machine right okay but yeah just few more things I'll test in few seconds It's uh, the answering the uh, the way that it's answering this is this is quite interesting actually. You can see the answer. Okay, so I think I need to explain in the simple terms. So let me start by breaking down Kubernetes. It's open source system for automatic SQL and so and so. On, but how do I make it understandable? It's it's really quite interesting, guys. You can see uh, the way that ChatGPT answers the questions versus the way that uh, DeepSeek is answering. It's quite uh, interesting and quite completely different. It seems. Okay, it's really good. Okay, so yeah, uh, now I, I hope it's clear like how we can set it up on virtual machine. So I'll just stop this. Okay, so now let's do one thing. Let us try to set this uh, DeepSeek machine, uh, DeepSeek uh, AI, uh, this um, uh, this tool on our Windows machine as well. Okay, so let's do that. So for that, what we have to do first, I'll go back to this uh, platform. Here, I'll go back to the home page. And now what we have to do, we have to install for our Windows machine so I'll click on this install and it's going to download the DeepSeek and I guess it's of size 745 MB which is going to take a little bit of time okay so yeah let's wait for it so guys uh, it's downloaded so I'll open this and let's try to install this on our machine okay and let's wait for this Click on install and yeah, let's see how much time does it take. So once this is installed, then we will proceed with the next steps. Okay guys, so it seems that Olama has been installed on Windows and I have opened CMD. So I'll run the command, same command that we ran on a virtual machine, uh, uh, Ubuntu machine to run. I've selected a 7B model and this is the command, right? I'll try to run it here and let's see what happens. Let me select it again. Okay, so this is nice, uh, correct. And I'll run it. Okay, so on Windows, this is, it seems it's the same way that we uh, installed or ran it on Linux machine, same way it is getting installed on Windows as well. Okay, so probably I assume that there is not going to be a direct UI on Windows as well because we are directly running it through CMD. 
okay yeah so let's wait for this to complete as well and then we'll see what happens uh, installation of deep seek on windows machine also completed and here we have the results so yeah <clears throat> let us do one thing uh, let's try searching something okay so let's say simple thing i'm going to search explain devops in simple terms and yeah it's taking a little bit of time okay start see one thing uh, see i have not explored it completely uh, deep seek i'm still in the early phases only but uh, uh, seeing this uh, the answer that we are getting it's a little bit different as you can see as compared to chat gpt the way that we get answers or results in chat gpt it's a little bit different okay so yeah uh, yeah this is how you can set it up uh, a deep seek r1 model on your um, machine windows or uh, this one more thing that i wanted to try is basically by turning off my internet and let's see what happens so if it works without internet then i guess uh, uh, it's really good see the way of answering things is quite interesting actually okay Okay, let's wait for this to complete and then we will see if it is able to answer without internet also if so then i guess yeah it's really good okay so let's say i'll just search explain talker with an example okay really good as you can see that it's uh, working without internet also so i guess it's really good and yeah so i hope it's clear now how you can set it up and i guess uh, no specific command we need you can simply copy the commands from the o olama page okay so yeah, team uh, i hope this was really useful for you and you can test it out on your machine as well so thanks for watching and have a nice day